We're back, people, and today we're bringing on film on Patrick Paul, Miami Dolphins rookie left tackle, who I thought greatly exceeded my expectations in preseason week one in his first like live action look. Uh, especially in the running game, I thought outside zone, you could clearly see how he fits this scheme with his athleticism, play side, cutting people off, really utilizing uh that overall, you know, his improved technique too, which I gotta give him credit for that in the running game, but then his length, his physical gifts to his uh, you know, his benefit there. And then, you know, kicking people out on the backside of plays. I think pass protection, there was a mixed bag. Uh, some things that I would like to see improved overall. But really, when I'm looking at this stuff, like, you're going to have losses. That's fine. Like, he dominated most of the game. But I just wanted to see that improvement in technique. I thought he just looked way more comfortable compared to college. Uh, still needs to improve upon that technique overall. But definitely feel better about him as a player. Just, like, you, he looks more explosive. He looks smoother. Things that, you know... I think with hands, feet, uh, understanding settings, I think he looked improved there and he could still get even better. The sky is the limit for him. And then I think uh, he looked really comfortable moving out in space. I just think he needs to get a little better with his angles, aiming points, because there was a couple screens where he was flying out there at his size. And once he starts, you know, playing a little more under control there, uh, I think that's going to be huge for his game. But then here, start breaking down this film. First play, great play game from Jalen Wright, who I'll do a breakdown on later today, actually. He just looked so comfortable here. I love this. Look at how he works his double team, attacks, you know, gets the help, helping his left guard. Great aiming point. Attack that outside half of him. Allows 64 to get control of him completely, but he's still keeping his eyes on the field. He's staying square. Takes a great angle to linebacker, squares him up. He's playing with a good base, balance, gr really good base, actually. Great feet, too. Like, I always talk about the, the, the letters, the words that start with B. Base, balance, burst, bend. He's playing with all of it. For a guy of his size, he's, you know, uh, bending in his lower half, but staying upright and not getting over the top. Love that he's staying under control. And now once he gets in good control of the situation, because he's got inside hands here too. He's not playing with like super wide hands either. Now he just cuts him off. Boom, get your hips across in the perfect position. That is ideal. And then he also sticks with it too. Like he goes to finish, which I love to see. Because sometimes like it can be with a little bit of finesse. But he sticks with it and it drives his person down the field, gets active after the play, and carries his guy for multiple extra yards. That is super, super clean. And then literally, like, the next play, same thing. Jalen Wright outside zone to his side of the field. He does another really good job. This time not climbing to the second level, but working a little bit, like, of a double team. And even with 64, like, trying to help him out and slide him down, he's still able to get complete control and cut him off. That is impressive because watch 64 double team. Uh, he, they think he might work the cutback here off Harlow. That's what Harlow's thinking. But he, they still end up capturing the edge. And even though he pushed his guy to the outside, he's still able to get his hips across perfectly. And sometimes it's all about positioning. You don't always need to be destroying your guy, especially in this system. Positioning, leverage, technique is all super important. And then that's that, that lateral athleticism. A guy of his size should not be able to move like this and get into that spot over and over and over again. And he just did this stuff consistently throughout the game. These were just some of his best reps in the running game. And then we'll start getting into some of the past stuff, uh, seeing a mixed uh, mixed look of things. I thought this was a pretty clean rep from him. I just like how comfortable he looks. I like the redirection skills. There was a couple times I thought he overset and he had to recover. But I just feel like he looked more comfortable out of his stance, which was big. Sometimes in his stance out of uh, Houston, he looked uh, uncomfortable out of balance which was big i just thought he looked more under control smooth played with better bend um his hands i still think need work overall that was probably the weakest part of his game in pass protection were his hands he got a little wide with them sometimes missed but he does a great job with his lower half recovering here after not getting a great inside punch he's still able to bring his feet back across um get in a decent spot he gets a little help from his left guard but i still think he would have gone back uh because this is a good recovery position then gets in control sticks with it and I love how he's running, getting out, like getting out in space. Like he was moving out in space. Like this time, Skylar tries to escape the pocket. He's just running around back there. But he was doing this on screens. He was doing this even with your quarterback escaping the pocket. You can see the length too. That guy's got ridiculous length. If he starts really utilizing that length in pass protection a lot, he's got a great chance. Um, one thing I will give him good credit for is he did a lot of bouncing back, which was big. I think after negative reps, like where he maybe like oversets like this. I think he overset. Got a little too far over himself. And then you look at his base. Just a poor base. This is just one of those plays where I think, you know, he got way, he's like getting wide with his hands. He's opening up his chest. His base down low is not good. His getting out of his kick step, things being, you know, out of balance. 
this was the type of play that you saw at Houston. Um, but this didn't show up as much in this game. And then he, when he did have bad, poor technique reps, he responded with good ones. So that's like where I'm seeing the improvement come from. Uh, the next time uh, this rep right here, he sees 17 is not coming in. He's staying patient in his set, much more balanced, under control. Uh, everything from top to bottom is better. His base sees 98, then work out wide into him. He also didn't get super wide on his set either. Didn't want to give up that inside like the last play. And he just stays under control. Much better hand placement. He's just in control of that situation the whole time. And then they dump it underneath the other side. He just did a much better job responding because like here's a neg negative rep where I think it starts pretty positive like he's in control I just think he needs, sometimes he doesn't need to do a better job sustaining I still think he's a little too wide with his hands guy like he's on like the outside shoulders here and I think uh, once he gets control uh, he just doesn't have great grip strength to sustain and this guy gets underneath him gets over the top loses his balance and he's like kind of holding on to him and then that creates uh you know the pressure on Skyler but he has a much better responding literally like right after this the next play one of my favorite reps from him is, you know, identifying the twist and stunt, uh, maybe overset a little bit here, uh, get a little bit caught off balance. So still needs to improve on his technique in pass protection. I think that's the biggest thing right now is his pass protection technique, but he is showing improvement overall compared to college, which is good. Uh, but he's able to recover, throw it into 64, and then still able to get out of it. Like you can see the fluidity, redirection skills underneath, boom, come back across, find the looper in a good spot, gets hands into chest. Then the ball is out late, or the ball was missed anyways. But that is a much, much improved rep overall. And getting back to the running game, I think when he has to like be a guy, he can definitely kick people out too. He's does a good job with his torque. Whether guys like he has to kick them to the outside or guys like try to cross his face, he'll torque you either way. He's got powerful lower half. He knows how to utilize the length in the running game much better than in pass uh, the passing game. Um, but he does a good job sustaining these blocks, driving. Stayed with it. He carried this guy multiple yards down the field because this run doesn't even come really in his direction. He's just kicking his guy out because it's more of an inside, you know, inside run here instead of outside zone like we saw earlier. But he'll do this and then sustain drive. Love the finish. Love this uh, motor from him. Love the attitude, mental side that he's playing with there. I feel like he's playing with more of a physicality than he did in college too. So everything just seems better, but still improvements to have. But it, that's fine because. He isn't a first a guy that we're gonna see a ton in this first season. Like we'll probably barely see him unless there's multiple injuries. He's more of a future project down the line, but you're seeing some of that already pay off. He already looks, I think, better than most people expected. Uh, but still some question marks for sure. But I really like what I saw out of the running game and just his athleticism in general. He looked really explosive. Here he explodes out of a stance. I do think uh sometimes in his base can, can be a little bit better. I think hands here, you can see just get I do like that he mi mixes up his sets. Like, I think that's a nice thing. You want to see rookies that are able to mix up their sets, mix up, you know, whether they shoot a single hand, go, uh, you know, two hands. This stuff is fine if you do it every once in a while. I just think it can get him a little bit caught off balance. But for kind of how, like, caught off guard he is here, how, how wide this guy gets clean hands on him, Paul really doesn't get moved too much. So, like, that's impressive play strength and anchor because he still wins the rep even though um, he didn't have great technique at the beginning of that play. So... Paul can still win on plays where his technique's not good, which is a big thing because he still needs that improvement. But yeah, I think we'll see better stuff from him. And he was using two hands and then independent hands, one hand stabs. That's big. That's like how you win half the battle sometimes versus these players at this level. And then here's just a solid rep with him sliding. We saw a rep earlier where he slid and kind of got beat one-on-one, -on -one, but this time he does a much better job getting control, uh, resetting those hands too because he's not as... He's still a little bit wide with his hands, but he's able to reset with his hands to at least get one on the inside. And he better does a better job staying square under control, sustains it much better. Skyler rolls out the pocket, runs for some, but definitely an improvement there. And then Paul just continuously kicking people out. And I just love the finish here. Nothing too crazy. Runs going you know, away from him, but he's just kicking his guy out, just positioning, leverage. This is like how I see a lot of his plays versus run. He starts off with good positioning, leverage. He's just trying to win that rep in that way. And then once the play starts to go he's like okay now that i've gotten control i played good smart football i'm gonna try to you know kick your ass and move you down the field uh doesn't give up on the play love that until until the whistle goes you know so patrick paul definitely a nice surprise i thought the whole weekly class looked good i'm gonna do a video on jalen wright um later today and then probably tomorrow i'll have a video on patrick mcmorris and Jaylen, uh millie washington film breakdowns and then i'll have some like random cut-ups of people probably posted like highlights or every touch and then 
multiple other videos on the way to uh, later uh, next week, basically with we'll do like Ethan Bonner, Quentin Bell, Grayson Murphy, players like that, that I think, you know, had at least moments in the game where I thought uh, like these guys could stick around. They showed that they're players, you know, players like that. And we'll, we'll get throughout a lot of these guys. I thought certain guys showed up for the most, I thought for the most part, players played good, except for maybe the quarterback play wasn't very good. And then a couple other handful of players uh, didn't really impress me, but overall liked seeing those roster bubble guys show up. Patrick Paul was one of the big highlights for me. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe to the